Hello and how are you? My name is Mohinda Mark and I'm coming to our 10th lecture of creating a complete marketplace platform. Uh, we always do 40 minutes, so I'll start our timer and go straight into our business. So in the previous lecture, we were able to get the products that are being worked upon offline and display them and uh, be able to resume the editing logic so in this lecture we're going to see how we can uh, manage to accomplish all the part of the form of uh, of, of registration over of, of uploading the product so yesterday we were able to reach here at stock items and when you click here you have for for example when you click, you click on you have a certain number of offline products you're able to see those products that are stock in offline or before the one that have not been uploaded uh so right now we're going to take it from there remember yesterday we could be able to come here and edit when the previous lecture come here to come here and edit and try to change even the product name and when you make a saving let's say save as draft here in the bottom uh you'll see that the, the product name itself will have changed so let's go ahead and proceed now to taking it from there up to the next level so let's see um now we say that uh we wanted to work on the deletion logic sometime we need to delete delete this product that is offline okay place that one delete it so i'm going to put here a button of deletion so let's search for the creating uh creating new product so i'll just simply come and say creating new product here so on this button i'm going to make it delete button so I come to options let's change this one to trash trash just put delete eh? i think it's that one delete and say we delete this x all right now what when you want someone when they click here you should ask them do you want to delete the product if they say yes delete then you go ahead and do they delete so to do that you just simply do what you call get let's see that what <coughs> get the default dialog okay say so get the default dialog this key default dialog text title and then the middle text and then uh, the, it has you can put the action buttons and then you do whatever action that you want in this bit okay in actions hope you've seen that so if you click here i'll say do you want to delete you have yes and if you say yes no it will go back if you say yes it will go ahead and do the deletion logic all right so now when you want to when someone clicks on delete and when someone clicks on delete we go ahead and say delete product Okay, delete. However, this delete is very shallow. Uh, this delete is very shallow in a way that uh, we only delete, we only uh, delete uh, the product. Okay, we only delete uh, the the product from the local database. But remember, this product might be having photos like this, and you see, they are even uploaded offline online. So what you have to do, you have to check if this product has an uh, it has photos. We delete them first and then we delete the product itself okay so let me just call let me come here to the product so here delete all deletes so we put here the delete okay we can write we can just add on this delete logic and put uh, the deletion so we can just simply put here and say details do it toast okay and then say all right let's just get a special for a special function for deleting you can call this and do the delete like this all right do delete so that's our method uh so we just simply come and say uh await so it's going to be let's let's give it also So you take it away it um so that's how do delete and uh, now 
it's uh, synchronous. Uh -huh. So after doing so, you go ahead and await. So you can just put your maybe here a string of response equals to await that. So if it fails, if it fails if 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 it is not if it is not empty, it's not empty, you can return whatever will have come and say failed. Okay, so if it is empty, we can say item deleted successfully. Alright, so um after doing that doing that let's go ahead and now do the logic of deleting a stock item in the stock item model this one here all right so what we're going to do we're going to first delete the images that are depending on this uh product okay so you can just simply say um local just first say await and then say await await and say get local images we first load those local images okay after getting loads local images you go ahead and look through them and then you say simply say for if local images are not empty i go ahead and look through them and say for okay variable i okay local images as it is here let's say for local image i mean uh, variable i or can just say int and say i equals zero i is less than what the local images the length and then say i plus plus okay so after we go ahead and say uh delete so you just simply get this one uh delete image local image one and then you go ahead and uh, delete uh, wait for it okay you might not need to reason whether it was successful or not but you can just do it like this so let's not let's first uh, test this Let's first test this and see if it will successfully delete it. So let me return from here with an empty array. And let us break every time we delete an image. We break. Okay. So right now, uh, let's first determine how many images I have on my server. So if I come to market link web and then I come to my images. So it's under public. It's under public images. They are here. So let me open them in Finder. They are here. Okay. So these are my my images that have been uploading this project. So how many are they? Let me select all. I don't even see the number of the images. I don't know. So how many are they? Um. How do you know the number of images in the folder? 21 items okay you see 21 items all right so what delete and you see if you, one will reduce so here i remember i'm breaking just for testing so i click on delete yes i uh, deleted successfully item deleted okay so if i come delete i come here uh these were 21 let us click here see 21 so it not delete the online one Let's uh, figure that out. Put this one here. All right, so we get the delete. Uh, why did it even toast? Do delete. So delete, you just call one here. Mm -hmm. Do delete. So you yeah, wait. So you get this item and say delete. Then delete here. You can let's check this. Let's see, uh, item. I mean, say maybe response equals to, and then I can go ahead and uh, do some toast. So if it shows an empty response, I know that is successful. So let's delete. So you can see it is an empty response so it is successful deleted and then the items are so deleted all right so the image is being deleted offline okay yes the image is being deleted offline one of the images so can we find out uh okay so all right this is the problem by deleting it just from the local database 
remember if you want to delete it online here we had to use this something like uh, delete self this delete all slash for delete there is delete item we should even go to online hard delete self this delete self is one that could delete online as well all right of an image right so let's go ahead and delete You say yes so item deleted okay so if we come to these images they're initially 21 you see there are now how many they are now 20 so it is deleting properly so i can remove this okay so it's even deleting the one online so i can come and remove this break and then after it finishes deleting it should also delete now itself you see it should now be deleting itself the image should now be deleting i mean sorry the item should be deleting itself. Uh, so if it's successful, I return nothing. If it is fail, I return the error. So then I'll come here and just simply say, I'll come here and just simply say here, just simply say. So here we have the do delete. Uh, so I can just uh, as it is deleting here, I can just simply do. I can just show the loader utils. Sorry details that show loader it's dismissible can say true and then here we hide it okay when it is done all right so here if it is empty we toast the reason if it's not empty so if it is empty then we shall know item deleted suck successfully and then at this point we can maybe do some pop-up okay you can do some pop-up like this so if i come here and i click on delete so i sure i want to delete this item so it is deleting item deleted successfully so when i refresh here the item is gone hope you can see that the item is gone mm -hmm. with these respective images that are cached offline so if i come and delete also this one come and edit and delete it see item deleted successfully how about if we just put um all right how about if you just put this logic in the on the item itself okay on the item itself in the um, i'm thinking that if you can just put this just like for the other side since uh so let me delete self okay delete should delete itself all right so it's going to be delete ah uh, it's not good all right ah, let's leave it there it is all right let's do everything there okay so i'll just copy this that is when we are deleting i want to add it now here on this button as well all right so i'm going to come to uh to stock uh local stock local items and now when there's delete 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 where is delete search for delete I can just simply come and call this one and say uh, do delete okay just we're going to do that logic from here but in here have to wait I wait and then we update here saying in it okay so this one will help to keep the page lively okay so here i'm just going to push there i remove the functions outer shells like this i remove the pop because i'm on the screen list and then i'll just introduce here the what uh, whatever all right so i'll come here and get this index and then put it here like this so there you go there we go there we go okay so you can pause the video and look at this how i've approached it okay hope you can see that 
Uh, so now if I come here and say delete, so it will delete only that maybe we might have need to put a pop up to allow to ask someone if they are, want to actually delete or not. You can do that logic by default. So let me delete also this one. So no stock item categories. I have so instead of saying no stock categories, you can just simply say no stock items found or no offline products. Okay, no stock categories. Can just say here yeah, no stock items. Items found like this. All right. Yeah. So that is fine. That is actually fine. So I refresh. There's no nothing. If I click on this plus. So there's a product that has been added. And if I come here and refresh, you'll see that the product is here. Okay, I can be able to delete it as well. All right. So what does it mean? It means that now someone can be working offline. Can be working offline. Even if they don't have internet, they can be able to do what? To update anything they want. All right. So we are going to finish by adding here uh, more actions such as. Uh, editing changing the main photo and also maybe updating the photos so once you finish the products management like uploading and the rest then we'll be able to proceed to the what to the mobile application now i mean to the to the front end now and start working on the mobile app itself um all right so let's proceed so i'm going to be showing this we have zero offline items i'm only, I'm only i want to be showing it only when you have products that are pending offline. So let's search for that. You have, and then have a dollar sign there. There it is. Okay. So I want to, if it is empty, it should display nothing. So to do that, I'll come here on top here. Just simply say, if dot, uh, if items dot uh, is empty, and then we just simply say, it should display size box. Else you display the item so so by doing like that will make it disappear until we add a what until we add some item and when you refresh you'll see that uh we have one item offline because we'll try to do what to add some item all right so yeah that's it uh now we proceed to the editing work on editing and also work on editing and after editing we work on um we work on uh managing the photos changing the main photo uh changing the main photo changing the 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 photos of the gallery something like that that's what we want to work on uh, right now so when you finish this side then you should be good to proceed now to the what to the front end and start presenting these what is uh, products in the user interface of the online of the front end side all right so let me go ahead and uh, do what let me go ahead and put here maybe some button where you can click on. Let's put here our menu like the one we had the other side. Let's put here the menu where you can click on and then do some actions and have some actions drop down. All right, so let's simply come here to stock items. Okay, it is here on this screen, right? Stock items screen. And then we come here to... Let me see. Let's see how uh, progress. Let me see. Um, All right. So I don't even know where to start from. So I have here the link of our product. Which is here. Okay. So you can make it know that um, if someone clicks on here, it can show as well a bottom sheet. Right? You can as well show a bottom sheet. And give the options all right i think this will that instead of putting a menu okay so you have your stock item tile this one here which has an option check if it is a picker it returns 
item aha uh -huh. we can do this from the other side okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to come these stock items you can see where i am is here stock item just going to cut this right i'm going to cut this uh, on top and then, then okay let's just keep that tile okay so after i'm going to come to back this side and surround this with what with the uh, inkwell Let me put here on top so that's why i can put this logic like if it is a picker you should be able to return let me just copy this okay if it is a picker you should return the item let's define this item here to So now instead of showing stock details, we can be showing a, a drop down, okay? A bottom sheet that shows like uh, ask someone to either edit or doing something like that. So we have some bottom sheet. Um, like this one. This one here pick from gallery something like that so let's go ahead and borrow that one so just if you go to shift f i say pick from gallery this one here go ahead and uh, copy this function and then come back to stock items screen also maybe show options and then this show options you can pass the watch the item in question press out and enter there you go so let me paste whatever i do the other side just check the watch the name for this item the middle here so you should be able to receive that item okay so instead of having this pick from gallery i will put their hot our options okay so the first option can be uh, for example edit and then you can put here the relevant what the relevant icon okay edit and then another one is going to be it's going to be what it's going to be uh deletes all right so yeah another one you can put uh manage photos manage photos article images all right so i think that can be uh, enough uh, for us proceed so i come back here i click on it you see i have uh options enough options to work on okay so i can make this one a what i can make it uh, uh There we go. That like is now let's put the logic in here. So first things first, 
um, one put the logic of uh, editing that you should be able to edit the product okay but the challenge here is when you're editing you have to first have the offline product okay you have to have the first we must have the if you if, if, if first you must have a what an offline product uh all right so let's go here where there is edit okay so if you say edit so instead of doing what instead of just proceeding there so what you're going to do we're going to are uh, going to get the image so we're going to get the sorry going to get the image that's going to be edited i mean so we're going to get the i'm going to convert this item to a stock local item because our create stock create item created it accepts only the local models okay local data okay so I'll just to say look stock items uh, and then say maybe so let me come here and say maybe item equals two and then now i get this current item that has been clicked on okay so i go ahead and convert it so how do you convert we have simply say stock item model this one that you have and we then say uh from json okay so i just simply come and say here from json and then this from json i go ahead and parse uh so here it's going to conflicts called items called items okay so i've got some item x so i'm going to come here and pass the item x dot item dot to json so this will return its data to json which is almost having the same parameters as the offline one and then the offline one will now get that data and convert it back from json to get the offline version like this so i can go ahead and put now here what a semicolon and then say uh, for example now index and then go to that okay go to stock item create screen and then i put the index x however since this item is already online so it will be good if also put there its online id dot online id equals to that i don't know that I even have the task okay, that's it so the online the online id equals to uh equals to item dot to id dot to string okay so that's how i get the online id you can just simply say it for to item dot id like this okay so if it successfully goes through that so I'll, do, I'll go ahead and now make it proceed to the what to the edit screen however I can make this one to be uh synchronous All right so when it comes i refresh the page okay so like this i need like this so so if i save if i save if i save i have saved let's go ahead and try now so i click here say edit uh something that right let's see uh let's see click there say edit so invalid id so they are saying invalid id so why is it having invalid id let's see is it invalid local id i don't know because this image they expected i mean these products are expected to have even local ids even though they're coming from online unless it is an old product before implemented that logic. let's try this it's still invalid local id all right let's uh, see uh what is their local id exactly actually so i can come here on top here on top and put uh, fx text I say put the name of the product there so let's do that like this okay so let me put there the uh, local local uh, you see local id is not being saved okay local id is not being saved so you cannot identify this product locally so what i'm going to do you have to add it there you know how can work without it so let us first determine how is it saved on the online version so i'll just simply come to our um, 
come to our local host and then after we come here to market link okay this market link we go to stock items stock items there we go and then after stock items we're going to go and get the local id so that is the local id aha uh -huh. so we can we can regenerate this model so we can have a new model afresh that is also can work so uh, let's go and regenerate it so I just simply go to a local host and then you see because here maybe we might not be having new values all right let's regenerate it so we shall just simply come here to local i mean then go to php my admin and sorry go to your project for some minds and marketing dashboard oh have i entire started it I suppose it's another project uh markets link web and then let me log in here hope i have correct logins perfect then come here to a code generator remember it's code gen okay so you come here to stock item online mode stock item it's just much going to be much more like this one yeah? okay stock item mode all right stock item model 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 okay so there you go now endpoint and this stock item or let us call this one my stock item my stock item uh for some reasons that i'll tell you okay let's just call stock item right let's just call stock item model uh so it's database it will be picking from stock item like this just call stock item how is how the quality mean here here we are calling it oh god this thing is very far let me try to extend it Okay, so um, here we're calling it what? Uh, stock item. Let's just call it the same thing at the same time. So stock items, the item, the stock item model, and the database is stock item, right? The database, the model is. Alright, so I run it. So I have the stock item uh, class there. If I generate it, so it should come with all our latest fields. So there we go. I'll just go ahead and copy it all. Ctrl A, Ctrl C, and then come to uh, the watch. I'll come now to the stock items and paste it there, the model. So I may expect some errors. However, the most important thing here is that uh, we have to add, we have to add maybe some value in this database otherwise you need to remove your app again in order to work okay so i've added there a value of the table name so it can have a, another unique value it has in the fields all right so i save now i see there's still some prom problem i uh, get progress right Get progress, you might not be interested in get progress now. For now, let me first comment this. Okay, I save, I refresh. Okay, so it is gone. I refresh again, so there's some error. Let's see what's the error all about. Refresh, so they're saying stock items has no column called lock id so you can see stock items uh, so the database has not been updated so let's see let's put here still refreshing stock items yet i've already changed this let's run the, the product the project fish and let's see
let's wait as it is compiling that's finished my products yeah see it has come now things up now come uh, so if i click here and say edit should allow me to proceed because the product id has come so you see everything is there except uh the category category text we're going to see how we handle that and also uh the what uh category text is not coming yeah and also the photos because we're supposed to see the photos as well that have been uploaded so let's handle those two let's handle those two before uh, this lecture ends so we're going to want to be able to know the category okay so let me let me do like this so come here to widgets and come in for example uh, let's add here a subtitle uh, uh, can i add a subtitle no uh, all right so let's add here just some text for just say uh, testing yeah so i come here and say text and then i can just simply say effect text and then say maybe category and you know category it is still category text uh, so if i refresh right now see there's no category there there's no category the text is is empty so we're going to append this we're going to append this when we are, we are when we are calling the stock items it should be also bring its text if it is available so let's do that so i'll do that by just simply coming uh to the project and then you go to the stock item model stock item model and then you search for appends so if, it's a, if the append is not there then you do what you if the append is not there then you uh, you do what you you add it so let me go ahead and add the appends of this stock item context so this stock item text is just like an extra field that you add on a model however for it will be computed for it will be computed so you are you are appending it as it sounds so after adding it in appends then you have to define how you want to uh to to to, to include it on this particular model so to define it you just simply say you just simply say public function and then you say get and then every in beginning of the english word is started with the word with an s and then the rest in small letters and then after doing so at the end of the day i mean at the end of it you put uh you put what you put attribute so you see this one is get it is in camel case of this one all right so it's get and then it says stock and then category so that's what you do when you want to append something however this should be changed to camel case and when you change this next case to camel case make sure that every beginning of the word is beginning with the capital letter or instead of camel case, instead of small letter or instead of having a, an underscore so after you finish that uh the next thing that you do you go ahead and now define how you want it to be like so you can see for me i'm defining it like this uh the category so i can just simply say this and then say this sub uh, stock sub category i hope i hope i have it you say have this stock subcategory i have it here so i go ahead and check if this stock subcategory is not null i go ahead and get the stock category you know stock subcategory is a child to stock category see stock category all right so if it is not null i go ahead and get their what their name so category name so that is category text all right stock category text so you can put stock category this this can be stock subcategory text or stock category text that is that's how you can get the category of something okay however you can also add stock subcategory text i hope it is also there uh stock subcategory stock subcategory text this one here you can also add it in the same manner however here the main point is you're getting the text of the stock subcategory now if you come here and refresh one time two time you see this the, 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 the parent the main stock of this has come i hope you can see that if you understand to see the stock subcategory do the same thing
However, they can slow your computer if you put many of them. They can slow your system. Time is up. Uh, let's do get a four stock subcategory. A compiler to do it for me without pain. So there we go. All right. So there we go. Uh, so here we have stock subcategory text. I hope this text it will give us um, a little bit detailed thing. All right. Text I think cause a conflict. Right. Stock subcategory name. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's say if also stock subcategory text has come. So if I come here uh, to the widgets and then put stock subcategory text, do not come. Stock subcategory text, maybe okay. I was waiting for refreshing, it has come. You see, it has come. So now, uh, what does it mean? It means that now when you are going to edit. When I'm going to edit, uh, let's see, we can edit uh, what is in here. What is the in, what is in, um, what is in here, the category is the series, series is the subcategory, I'm not sure. Let's see. So, if I come here and say edit, so serial is the subcategory. So, I can, when I'm editing the subcategory, I can update with the category name as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and say edit. So in that section of editing, seen here, here. Mm -hmm. Now, um, just simply come and say stock subcategory text equals I go ahead and pass um, the subcategory text and put comma and then put the category something like that just as you want save refresh come and click on edit you see the subcategory and category has come so how did you organize this one it's subcategory then category you see yeah, something like that. And everything is still beautiful, you see? So that's how you do it. That is how you do it. Uh, now, uh, in the next lecture, we'll work on the photos. I should be able to delete the photo that's already there. I should be able to change the main photo. I should be able to, to, to add more photos. So, like, I should have more control on my application. So that's what I shall do tomorrow in the coming lecture. So make sure that you practice, make sure that you don't give up, make sure that you finish all this together. And when you finish it, you'll see like you now everything is making sense. At this point, things can be a little bit confusing. But if you give them a very keen eye, you'll see all of them, they are relating and they are doable. All right, that's it for today, guys. Uh, we meet in the next lecture. Uh, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, goodbye. So let me see if there's any question in the chats. See, there are no questions that people have been following. All right, that's it for today. And see you in the next lecture. Goodbye.